Good to see you here on this Tuesday morning. Winter in full force today into tomorrow. Even though we end winter tomorrow, today's the last full day of it. We are going to feel like winter for the rest of the week with scattered lake effects, snows, temperatures well below average, and unfortunately we are seeing some icy travel that's created a major backup in Flint Township on Interstate 75, the southbound lane. So please be careful traveling this morning. There are accidents and you may want to give yourself some extra 10 to 15 minutes of travel time to get to your destination because we are seeing some icy travel. Now, even though it doesn't look like it's snowing along Interstate 75 or portions of the thumb, we are seeing some scattered snows over the entire area. The problem is, is there's two things. Lake effect snow is really low in the atmosphere. A lot of the times the radar beam will shoot over it, so it doesn't look like it's snowing, even though it is. But also the Detroit radar is being worked on right now. They're upgrading it, so it's out. And what that means is we're not getting a lot of reflectivity in this area where we get our information from the Detroit radar. So watch out for the scattered snows today, but with temperatures now into the low to mid 20s, that rain and snow and sleet from yesterday that made the roadways wet is now freezing over. It didn't have enough time to evaporate before these cold temperatures really blasted in the area at about three and four o'clock this morning. We'll hold temperatures kind of steady this morning, maybe getting about 28 to 29 later today. But regardless, we'll be so far below the average, the average this time of year, about 44 to 45 degrees. So we're seeing some strong winds accompanying this cold air and snow shower activity, a 10 to 20 mile per hour sustained wind, followed by nearly 30 mile per hour wind gusts in certain areas. And what this will do that's going to cause the visibility issues for us with the heavier lake effect snow bands that set up later today. You guys know the drill. We had multiple car accidents that were 20, 30 car pile ups because you went from zero visibility to clear visibility, then back to zero visibility again, only in a matter of seconds. So as you're traveling, not only this morning for the icy travel, be careful later today with the heavier snow bands that move in. Single digit wind chills now in Bay City. The rest of us right around 10 to 11 degrees. Not at all feeling like this is the last day of winter and the first day of spring tomorrow. Not going to be much better than what we're actually seeing out there today. So here's the area of low pressure that kicked off the rain, snow and sleet yesterday. Now it's out of here, but very strong winds wrapping in behind it right over the bottom of Lake Michigan. And what that means for us, the lake effect snow potential. There will be several inches of snow from Grand Rapids to Muskegon east to Lansing. I'm thinking Alma, Mount Pleasant. We could pick up maybe one to two inches of snowfall over the next two to three day period. But for the Interstate 75 corridor, in the thumb about an inch. The problem is you really can't measure it because the winds are going to be blowing this all over the place. And again, blowing snow is just another factor to consider as you're traveling because that could also reduce your visibilities. So there's the little bit of warmth left now across southern Ontario. All the cold air really spilling in across the state this morning. When I got here a little after three, we were into the low to mid 30s. Now we're already into the low to mid 20s. Some spots will drop into the teens this morning and then overnight tonight. All of us see the teens that they're seeing currently across portions of Wisconsin because the cold air is just beginning to move in. It'll stick around for several more days. By the time we head to the end of the work week, we'll have high pressure building in, which is keeping weather quiet out west. Unfortunately, it's not really helping us and it'll hold on to the lake effect snow at least for two to three days before we finally quiet down and start to talk about some warmer air. So your seven day forecast shows temperatures at 29 and 28 today and tomorrow finally getting to freezing on Thursday. Remember the average high though is 44 to 46 degrees in the first day of spring. Feels like January out there, certainly not feeling like mid-March or the end of March. And as we look ahead to the weekend, notice temperatures do get a little bit better into the low 40s, but it'll still be below average, but at least we'll get a break from the snowfall, at least temporarily.